In this video what I wanted to do is I want to talk about the shoulders and in particular I want to talk about the two common problems that I will see with amateur golfers reference to shoulders and then I'm going to talk about how you kind of want to move in the golf swing and the way you're going to make your shoulders look correct which I think will be very very helpful for lots of students of mine but also lots of you guys as well. So the first problem is in the backswing position it's the head moving so when your head moves too much over towards your tail side your shoulder turn will become too flat there's nothing you can do about it i wouldn't even recommend you play around with this but if i move over here oh and then i try and point my shoulders down it, your spine just doesn't want to do that so problem number one is your head moving problem number two is well it's again your sort of head moving in this sort of manner now again uh, don't turn your shoulders like this i will agree with what we've got to be careful of though is that necessarily the fix to all of this is not just to not turn at all so throughout this video you'll sort of understand the importance of like should we say like the angles in the golf swing but 100 percent, what we don't want to do is turn like this in the start of the downswing and i see that a lot i see a lot of golfers get they watch rotational videos and they try and do things like turn the chest and turn the hips towards the target and all that happens is they move this way and they sort of turn the shoulders more in this sort of manner and like i say we're going to take our time we're going to talk about exactly how you should be rotating the key features that you want to be visually understanding i think that's going to help a lot of you out with regards to navigating shoulder tilt and rotation first things first i'm a little bit of a traditionist with regards to golf swing so i just like to see a and teach the swings that have lasted the test of time so i'm not saying these swings are easy to mimic but somebody like adam scott would come to mind the likes of tiger woods etc they're sort of the swings that i like to see i'm not somebody who would now look at somebody like a victor hovland or um, or a neiman or or some of the other guys at Cameron Young, you know, I think those golf swings are very amazing, they're very athletic, but for most amateur golfers, I think they're unachievable. So that's important to understand. Now, the reason why I say that is because therefore we can understand the importance of tilt. So the first thing that we need to understand is when we hold the golf club, your trail hands lower than your lead side. So your shoulder will immediately be lower to the ground like so. Now, from this position, obviously my shoulders have become sort of slightly tilted like so. Now, if I now drew a line through the centre of my head and through the centre of my lead foot, it creates a tilted axis. So what I'm basically saying is in the backswing, we want to rotate around that tilt. In the start of the downswing, we want to move linear in a rotational manner with that tilt. And then as we hit the ball, we want to maintain that tilt and then eventually we can finish through. So that tilt is going to become the premise of understanding fundamentally how your shoulder should be moving. So if I very quickly go back to this tilt, you do this or you do this you can kind of see the problem it's you've lost the tilt which means the whole swing becomes just an absolute sort of mess so in the backswing the simplicity now is you'll have your slight tilt and you'll just rotate around that tilt okay so you see my head stay still and i just rotate around it like so and that's genuinely the easiest thing to do now again it's not this it's this so that's where i'd say don't you have to turn and turning your shoulders in the backswing I think is a sensible thing to do because again most students that I meet underestimate how much you need to turn in that backswing position. The question would then be a little bit about hip depth or shoulder tilt so golfers will then worry about being too flat but somebody like Roy McIlroy is a really good person to visually look at to kind of understand that you don't need to be excessively tilted and to also understand that the majority of tour professionals aren't excessively tilted in the backswing position either. So if I'm in this position here, a good visual marker is if I paste about four to five feet in front of me, and as long as my shoulders are pointing down in that direction, that would generally indicate I've got good hip depth, as opposed to if I move my head, see I lose my hip depth, and this is good. So the simplicity in the backswing is keep your head still, turn around your tilted spine, and if you're slightly uncertain, place a marker four feet in front of you, and that's all that you basically need to be doing. Now, let's talk about the transition an important area because I would say this little area here in terms of what your intention is to start the downswing is hugely going to influence the type of ball flight that you end up hitting so for most golfers who have a tendency again to move the head and lose that tilt that's the problem the thing that you want to do as you initiate the downswing is you want to make sure that you are you know shifting your weight towards your lead side but you can do it in such a manner where your head can move with you as well so my head doesn't need to stay perfectly still here my head can move towards the lead side as well However, it can't surpass the lower body. So if my head moves like so, that's a problem. See my shoulder, it's now popping out. 
if I move this way where my lower body leads as I initiate that downswing, then can you now see the difference in terms of what's happening? So as I initiate my downswing, I'd kind of say, look, shift the weight progressively towards your lead heel. Try and keep your head sort of roughly pretty still. And what you should find is similar to what I'm mimicking now, I'm able to drop my shoulder down. The brilliance about understanding this tilt is, see the way I'm now still rotating towards the target? So I'd end up in a position where I'm mimicking a great looking impact, but what I haven't done is anything like this, which is why most golfers tend to really struggle with rotation in the first place. So you can rotate, and you can rotate as much as you want. If you want to mimic a very athletic contortion like golf swing, fine. But what you have to understand is you have to rotate around a tilt. If you don't do that, then you're going to become absolute messy with everything that you're doing. And it goes the same with regards to now what I said reference, the backswing position. In the impact position, what we'll tend to see is like so, and we tend to see that tall professional golfers are in a slightly different position, obviously, than where they were when they started. And this is because of two reasons. One, because the weight has obviously moved more towards the lead side. And two, again, because the body is more open, this produces more of a sort of tilt and a dropping of that sort of shoulder position. As long as you are getting good hip depth, which basically means this hip moves back and out of the way, then again, your shoulders become tilted. What we'll see with some pros, like I referenced earlier, the ones that have more rotation, and more hip depth and straining of the lead leg, it tilts the pelvis more. And the more that the pelvis will become tilted, the more the shoulders will become tilted. So when we see certain tall pros at the point of impact that end up looking like the shoulder's really downward facing, it's not necessarily so much to do with what the shoulder's doing, it's more to do with this. The more you can play around with this one, the more that your body faces towards the target, okay, and then you go back in towards your sort of posture, then obviously now you can see my shoulders down. The, the point that I would make here, is it really depends. I wouldn't go with having to feel like you need loads of rotation in the downswing. I wouldn't do that. I think for most amateur golfers, that's gonna be just quite problematic. It's gonna be very difficult for you to move and possess that kind of range of motion. The thing that you do need to do though, when it comes to the downswing is make sure that you're moving necessarily the amount to maintain hip depth. And the reason for this is you do want your trail shoulder in the downswing to drop down. And the only reason for that is because you don't want your arm to straighten too soon. So what sort of happens in the golf swing is that your arm will bend 90 degrees and it will straighten. The problem is if it straightens too soon, you lose stability of the club face. And the only way you can sort of stop that from happening is getting this shoulder lower to the floor. And hopefully the way that you understand you can only get that from happening is by understanding this needs to rotate and maintain good depth, which again helps the shoulder stay closer to the floor. And that's what will happen with the shoulders. And then obviously as you finish the swing, you just want to finish nice and balanced and again, try to you know not lean back or whatever it might be that you have a tendency to do coming in towards that finished position so i wanted to create this video because i wanted it to be a reference for some students of mine that are struggling a little bit with the shoulders and hopefully it's helped lots of you guys out as well you can let me know i'll see you soon